This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is number assignment. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover, they are, we will see number assignment settings for material and physical inventory documents. That is material documents and physical inventory documents. Then number assignment settings for accounting documents. Okay, and then number assignment settings for reservations. So these are the topics we will be covering today. Okay, so basically, uh, if you remember, whenever we do uh, goods received against a purchase order, or whenever we do goods uh, goods issue against a reservation, or a goods received against a purchase order, or whenever we do any any other goods movement system normally will be generating a material document and if it is a evaluated related it will be generating an accounting document so these two each material document and accounting document are identified with a unique number so that unique number how system is generating that we will understand today in this topic okay so basically the system generates the following documents for goods movement a material document to record the material movements an accounting document to record the changes in values within a company code okay so basically uh, whenever we do any goods movement normally it will generate a material document and also an accounting document okay so both the material documents and the accounting documents have their own number ranges and separate number assignment. That means, suppose if I go, let me go to the system. Okay, so if I go to, let me take a material. So what I will do, I'll just create a PO, PO and I will do the goods receipt. Okay, so let me create a, let me quickly create a PO. This is the vendor. This is a material. Let's say PO quantity is 100 and um, enter, enter the plant. Okay, let me enter some price. Okay, so everything is okay. Let me check. That's okay, let me save the PO. So PO is created. Okay, so this is a PO number. Okay, so now against this PO, let me do the GR, goods receipt. Okay. So when, when I do the GR, I'll select goods receipt, purchase order, okay, enter the purchase order number. Okay, so let me let me do the GR. Check. Let me enter the storage location. Check again. It is creating a batch now i'm posting it so when i post it it will generate a material document and accounting document let me post so i have posted it so if you observe carefully there is a material document generated automatically so if i go to display material document you have a material document 370 and at the same time you will have an accounting document Okay, see you have an accounting document. Each are, each are having separate number, different number. You go to display document. See, it is having a different number. You see here, accounting document. So how, from where system is taking these numbers? How system is generating these numbers? That we are going to understand. So, so far, so what we have done, we have covered one is uh, goods movement, 
goods movements we have covered that means in the inventory management inventory management inventory management and then and then we have covered physical inventory inventory and we have covered reservations reservations correct so during inventory management like when we do goods receipt when we do goods issue or when we do stock transfer okay or when we do transfer posting okay so this time system was generating documents so how system is generating material documents accounting documents we will see and also during physical inventory also system was generating material document okay and also accounting document so we will see and also during reservation when we create a reservation there is a number so how system is generating that number we will cover okay so we have to understand how these numbers are getting generated automatically by the system so in our case this is accounting document number and if you go back there is a this is the material document okay so we need to understand how these are getting generated okay so both the material documents and the accounting documents have their own number ranges and separate number assignment. I will show you this. So already I showed you they have different number numbering basically. Okay. And how these numbers are getting generated, we will understand. Number assignment for documents depend on the transaction or event type that the goods movement represents. For example, if you enter a good receipt against a purchase order, the program determines the transaction or event type W. Okay, so whenever you do any good receipt against purchase order, for example, there will be a transaction or event type called WE that is get generated. So let me show you this in our example. So now here we have we have made the GR. Suppose now if I go to the purchase order, let me go to the purchase order, MA23. Okay, if I go to the purchase order, this is a purchase order. So if I go to purchase order history, you see here, for the GR, there is a transaction or event tech WE, this has come. So based on this, system will decide the number. Okay, so I will explain in detail further. Okay, so that is different uh, transactions will have different event type based on that the number range will come. I will show you that. Okay, the keys the keys are internally assigned by the system and cannot be changed. Okay, so system automatically will assign it. In the material document list, you can search by transaction or event. So uh, normally you have the material document reports. There you can search by this transaction and event. Okay. So now let's continue. So first we'll start with the number assignment, number assignment for material and physical inventory documents. First thing. Okay. So the number assignment of the material and physical inventory documents is assigned to each transaction in the inventory management depending on the transaction type. Okay. So how, how it is designed is, suppose, let's say you are doing goods receipt, okay? So when we are doing the good receipt, okay? First, what we are doing, we are using a transaction called Miko. We are using the transaction called Miko, okay? So based on that, it is set up. So if you see here, when you do the GR, when you do the GR, based on the transaction type, based on the transaction you are carrying out, it will determine the transaction type, event type, okay? And these event types are clubbed into a group. And this group will have a number ring inter, number ring inter. So in our case, first you will have the transaction, okay? Let me show you this transaction. So in our case, the transaction is Miko. Now this transaction will be assigned with a transaction type, transaction 